Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the water pump or impeller in this 2003 Yamaha 25 horsepower. In the video description, you're going to find links to the genuine Yamaha uh, replacement parts. So first off, if this video helped you out, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button for me. Uh, the subscribe button will be located in the bottom right corner of this video. You can click on it and you don't have to stop the video or miss anything. I've made it pretty easy for you. So go ahead and click that button for me. It really helps me out. First thing we're going to want to do is remove the shift rod linkage connection located here. Um, if it's not easily accessible, what you can do is put the motor in reverse and it'll become more accessible. First thing you're going to want to do is back off the bottom nut a quarter of a turn. The bottom nut takes an the bottom nut takes a 10 millimeter. The top nut takes an 11 millimeter. You're going to want to back the top one off until the shift rod is free. Once you have the shift rod coupler free or disjointed, you can now lower the lower unit and begin taking off these bolts. The four lower unit, main lower unit bolts are 12, mil are 12 millimeter. Once you have the four bolts removed, it should just drop right on down. And there you have it. Once you have the lower unit off, you can go ahead and remove the water pump housing with four 10 millimeter fasteners. Once you have the fasteners removed, you can slide off the impeller housing. This may or may not come with it. If it doesn't, like in my case, you can go ahead and slide it up and over as well, along with this o-ring. Inside this is the water pump impeller. A new housing comes in the kit. A new one of these does. Here is your impeller. Be careful whenever you're removing it. This impeller was a little bit hard to get off. I couldn't just pull straight up on it, so I had to take a flathead screwdriver and gently get up under the lip and pry it up. Keyword, gently. You can see here, this is the water pump key. Um, looks to be pretty uh, rusted or I don't know, compressed in there on my application. That may not be so for your application, so you wanna make sure you don't lose that um, whenever you're pulling your water pump impeller off. If your base plate and everything looks good, you don't have to take the key out. You can just slide your new impeller on and go from there and rebuild it back up. But if you need to check out your impeller base here, you're gonna to wanna to remove the, the impeller key. Um, you can usually get on the top side and bend it out, but it may take a pair of needle nose or it may take a little work in order for you to get yours out. The thing to make sure of is you just don't scratch and mar up the drive shaft whenever you're trying to get it out. What it is is just a little half moon you're just your typical key. Once you have your key removed, you can slide up your water pump impeller base and slide it over. The kit in the video description comes with a new base here, which is this black part. You're going to re reuse this metal piece. Comes with a new cup or impeller cup. Obviously a new impeller, new bolts, and a new water pump base. 
as well as new washers, a new water pump, grommet, and a new o-ring. The first thing you're going to want to do is put the grommet into the water pump base. You can see there's a hole here on one side of the base and it, it corresponds with this tab on the water pump grommet. So you're going to want to feed it through there and get that tab lined up through that hole. Next you're going to want to put your water pump cup, your new one, inside the impeller housing. You can see that there's a tab here. This helps you orient it properly. Um, you can kind of make sense of it by you see this slot here with this slot here. That means that's where the water is going to come in. So if you put it down in there and then twist it around, it sits in there nicely. Before you put this in the housing, you might want to add just a touch of grease on the outside just in case, or so next time, uh, whenever you're taking it apart, and you, it'll be a little bit easier to, to take apart. Also take some of this 2,4-C grease that'll be linked in the video description and apply some to the inside of the cup. Also take a little bit of grease and add it to the o-ring. Then take your o-ring and reinstall it in the cup. Next take your new base plate and install it. There'll be a stamped cut out on the base plate. One side will have a lip. That'll probably tell you which side faces down. If not, the cutout needs to go if you're looking forward on the left side. If you're still not sure, you can just look at the wear pattern on the old one. Take a small amount of 2,4-C grease and put it on the keyway. And reinstall the key. Whenever you reinstall the impeller, there will be one side that will have a cutout for the key and the top side does not. That means this is the top, the side that does not have the cutout, and the bottom that has the cutout will slide over the key. Before you install the water pump, apply a little bit of 2,4-C grease to the drive shaft. Next, slide the water pump down on the drive shaft. Make sure the impeller is nice and tight and engaged with the key. Once you have the impeller on, you can remove this metal plate from the old impeller housing and install it on the new one. Go ahead and install the new impeller housing. You may have to twist the drive shaft in order to slide it down. Go ahead and install on top of there the old bracket. Take your new screws and new washers out of the rebuild kit and install them. Once you have them good and tight, uh, you're ready to reinstall the lower unit. Install the lower unit probably put a little bit of grease 
over the water tube tip here just to make sure everything goes well. Also you'll want to make sure you get some grease on the splines here. Be careful not to get it on the top there. Go ahead and reinstall the lower unit. And on this part, the first thing you're going to want to do is reinstall the brass connection first, which is a little tricky to do. Once you have it started, you can take your 12 millimeter wrench and tighten it on down. It's probably good to make sure, you know, that it feels good and you're not stripping the threads. So if you're stripping the threads and it just doesn't feel right, you know, stop what you're doing, back it back off and try again. Once you get it pretty close, you can go ahead and cinch the two together. Now reinstall the four main lower unit bolts. Once you get them all good and tight, just make sure it shifts easily. Turn it forward back into neutral, reverse, make sure it's in gear in reverse, make sure it spins freely in neutral, make sure it's in gear and forward. Once you do that, you just need to test it out um, with some water. Next thing we're going to do is test the water pump out, make sure it's pumping water coming out of the pee hole. As you can see, um, by my rig here you can only do it in neutral otherwise you'll create a big problem so that's just how my muffs fit so I'm only going to test out neutral and what pumping water um, we've already tested out the gear functionality a minute ago by shifting um, with the motor off so I'm pretty confident in that but uh, let's see how we did like we did a pretty good job we got strong water coming out of the pee hole water pumps working so I think we did a pretty good job thanks for watching and if this video helped you out please hit the like and subscribe button thanks again